Ultra News, where we give you the news behind the news. Nigeria witnessed another collapse of its national grid on Monday, leading to a crash in power generation from 4,032.8 megawatts around 1 p.m. to 43.5 megawatts at about 2 p.m. on the same day. Power generation figures obtained from the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, show that electricity on the system moves up to 115.4 megawatts on the same day before rising to 240.9 megawatts at about 4 p.m. on Monday. The TCN, in their attempt to restore the grid, managed to push the power generation to 544.9 megawatts. Commenting on the development, the spokesperson of the TCN, Ndidimba, confirmed the collapse of the grid, but was quick to state that the system was restored by the TCN engineers. Hmm. It's like deja vu, but without the fun memories. This is just one of many collapses we've experienced in this year. I remember in June when the TCN celebrated 400 days without the grid collapsing. And there was a back and forth, you know, across the country. Oh, is this true or is it not true? And some saying, come on, the, of course we know that power has been erratic, but give them some kudos. In 2022 alone, the national grid collapsed eight times. I mean, billions of dollars have been poured into this black hole called the power sector. And what do we have to show for it? Darkness. It's been over two decades since we started upgrading and working on our national grid. And yet here we are still grappling with power outages, like it's a national pastime. It's like expecting different results while we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. That's the definition of insanity, my friends. Nigeria, when are we finally going to get our act together? When are we going to solve this power crisis? I have a couple of stories today, so I'll just move on to the next one very quickly. From one pain point to another, the Central Bank of Nigeria has debunked rumors of Naira scarcity in the country amid reports that there is no sufficient cash in circulation, especially in some commercial banks nationwide. The CBN said the seeming currency scarcity was occasioned by a large volume of withdrawals from various CBN branches by the DMBs, that is the Deposit Money Banks. More banks have now resorted to rationing cash withdrawals while point of sales operators, that's POS operators, have hiked their transaction fees by 100%. Some still maintain the 100,000 Naira daily withdrawal in banks while some have just gone straight to 20,000 Naira through ATMs and others have since reduced the amount to spend through these same ATMs. The CBN, that's the Central Bank of Nigeria, in a move aimed at ameliorating our suffering in Nigeria, have suspended charges for cash withdrawals above the regulatory limits of 500,000 Naira for individuals and 3 million Naira for corporate account holders. In a letter signed by its acting director of banking supervision, Dr. Adetono Adedeji, the CBN says, the suspension of charges will now last till April 30th, 2024. This directive was issued in a letter to all banks, financial institutions, and non-bank financial institutions dated December 11th, which was just yesterday. Naira scarcity is hitting us. Nigerians are tired, and despite the CBNs, assuring us that there is enough money in circulation, people are struggling to get their hands on cash. The situation is so dire that banks are now rationing cash withdrawals. It's like a game of sorry -o. You can only take small out of the small portion that you have kept with us. We spoke with a cross-section of Nigerians from the SCT to Ondo to Kano, and it's the same story. Let's not forget the role of the former CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele, in all of this. Ah. If I mention this man's name again, I can imagine a lot of you are reacting now. Godwin MFLA implemented the cash deposit limits to combat money laundering and illegal financial transactions. But that is what has led us down this road. Last December, just a year ago, when the new Naira notes were introduced, it was supposed to be a fresh start. But instead, it has plunged the entire country into chaos. So many people died last year due to this cash crunch, cash traps, cash scarcity. I mean, call it whatever it is. Businesses crumbled and ordinary citizens, ordinary Nigerians were left stranded and cash trapped for months on end from December up until early April this year. 
We definitely don't want a repeat of that this holiday season. Mr. Cardoso, the ball is in your court. At number three, December salaries of the entire 109 senators, totaling 109 million, will be donated to survivors of the drone mishap which killed about 85 people in Tutumbiri Igabi local government area of Kaduna State last Sunday. The Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Baral Jibrin, announced this at the Kaduna Government House on Sunday when he led a delegation of the Senate to the State Governor, Senator Ubasani's house. Senator Baral told the Kaduna Governor that the money will be sent to him onward for delivery to the victims. This gesture, coming a day after 58 Northern Senators under the aegis of Northern Senators Forum, donated 58 million to the families of the victims. In the aftermath of the tragic drone mishap in Kaduna, our esteemed Senators have stepped up and made a remarkable gesture to the survivors of this incident. I know what you're thinking, so let me just say, how much does a seventh Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria end how much are they willing to let go of? They're just given a tiny fraction of their wages and it is not significant, Joe. However, no matter how small, some people are commending the senators for being thoughtful. And so to answer your question about how much they earn, the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, the RMAFC, spokesperson Ibrahim Mohammed said recently that the approved salary of each senator is 1.6 million naira monthly. The immediate past Senate President Ahmed Lawan recently said the monthly salary of a senator was 1.5 million, while that of a member of the House of Representatives is 1.3 million naira. They've pledged to do everything within their power to lessen the suffering of the people in Tudumbiri, and this is highly commendable. And our last story, last but not the least, if this news does not cheer you up, I don't know what will. 24 years after Kanu Wankwa won the CAF Player of the Year Award in 1999, another Nigerian player, Super Eagles and Napoli striker Victor Sime has won the CAF Player of the Year Award. I mean, talk about a long-awaited victory. Victor Sime, the Super Eagles and Napoli striker, had an absolutely outstanding season this year that led its Italian club side to their first league title in 33 years. And if that wasn't enough, he also finished as the top scorer of the AFCON 2023 qualifying series. At Monday's award ceremony in Marrakech, Morocco, Osime claimed the prestigious CAF Player of the Year award, beating out fierce competition from the likes of Morocco's Ashraf Hakimi and Egypt's Mohamed Mo Salah. Victor Osime's 26 goals were the driving force behind Napoli's link trial, a feat that hadn't been achieved since the days of the legendary Diego Maradona. Let's not forget that Victor Osimhen's success extends beyond the club level. He also played a crucial role in firing Nigeria to the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations, scoring an impressive 10 goals and finishing as the top scorer in the qualifiers. Victor Osimhen wasn't the only Nigerian star shining bright in Marrakesh, Morocco. Aziza Toshuala, Chiamaka Nadozier, both from the Super Falcons, won the 2023 CAF Women's Player of the Year and Women's Goalkeeper of the Year, respectively. Aziza did it for the sixth time. Truly remarkable. With this feat, Osime has joined the elite group of Nigerian players who've won the coveted CAF Player of the Year award. The likes of Rashidi Yekini, Emmanuel Amunike, Victor Ekweba, and Kanu Wanko, who paved the way with Kanu being the last Nigerian player to win the awards back in 1999. You can see my smile is so wide. You know, it's a proud moment for Nigeria. It's been a 24-year wait, but Osime has finally broken the jinx. Victor, you are a force to be reckoned with. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor and on an absolutely spectacular year. Your talent, hard work, dedication have paid off and we couldn't be prouder. Keep shining, Victor. And that's a wrap on True News. I'd love to read your comments, so leave us your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Roots TV Nigeria. Thanks for watching.